once again this morning i am taking an excerpt from whispers of the unknown be spiritually rebellious be spiritually rebellious an excerpt from whispers of the unknown it was in 2005 when a series of programs was to begin on radio here in trinidad when the station manager asked me what is the name of the program that i want to host i told him whispers of the unknown with his open mouth he gaped at me and murmured the word whispers of the unknown as if trying to think what does this topic mean whispers of the unknown and now i have decided to use this caption as the title of the upcoming book whispers of the unknown be spiritually rebellious in life you go on compromising at each moment and each situation without knowing not only with society but even with your family even the people you love demand compromise nobody likes the individual everybody wants to empower you your employers your subordinates your spouse your parents your children fellow commuters on the road everyone wants to dominate the husband wants to dominate the wife the wife in her own way tries to dominate the husband each wants things only the husband wants to get home this way and the wife wants that way the dominant one rules the life's game this is how the life goes on parents dominate the children and the children in their own way dominate the parents there is a constant struggle going on in numerous ways where nobody is allowed to be just himself where to be oneself is a crime nobody is allowed to be just himself and where to be oneself is a crime we go on overlooking when truth is misinterpreted we go on rebelling we go on overlooking when truth is misinterpreted you know someone is lying but you overlook is spirituality and tales be rebellious when truth is misinterpreted i teach is 
spiritual rebelliousness. I teach spiritual rebelliousness. It requires tremendous courage to revolt against the false and reassert and represent truth. It requires tremendous courage to revolt against faults and reassert and represent truth. But to accept the challenge and to remain yourself in spite of all odds is a great joy and benediction. I repeat it so that you can make it a point to remember it always. Allow it to be like a backdrop at the back of your mind. But to accept the challenge and to remain yourself in spite of all odds is a great joy and benediction. To keep your individuality intact, undamaged, in a society where everybody is trying to dominate, you need rebellion. Indeed, you need rebellion. I do not think it is good to escape from such a society in the Himalayas, in the forests, you may think you are yourself, but that is a false notion. Because there is no context in which you can be put to test, you are sitting like Robinson Crusoe in his grave, in his own cave. There is no challenge to you. There is no context in which you can put it to test. The society creates a situation for tests every moment. When you reach home, every moment you are interacting with the family, friends, society, there is a challenge. And here, when the challenge is in front of you, to be just yourself, not out of arrogance, not out of your egoistic feeling, is the way of spirituality. When you are interacting in the world of objects and beings, in the world of conflict and duality, while dealing with the family, friends, society, and all that is around you, to be just yourself, not out of arrogance, not out of your egoistic feeling, is indeed the way of spirituality. This is what I teach you each finite moment. Those people who are arrogant will have to compromise because there are people who are more arrogant than you. Yes, indeed, there are people who are more arrogant than you if you are arrogant. Those who are egoistic will sooner or later find somebody who can crush them because he is more egoistic than you. It always happens if you are arrogant, 
you will meet someone who is more arrogant than you if you are egoistic you will meet someone who is the superlative degree of egoism there are different kinds of powers people slowly and slowly learn not to stand erect but they start crawling on the ground when the situation arises in the society to remain erect and yourself without arrogance and without ego instead just out of your silence awareness an inner explosion of bliss is not only a tremendous experience but an experiment of the wonders i repeat this once again so that these words echo in your mind whenever situations arise there are different kinds of powers people slowly and slowly learn not to stand erect but they start crawling on the ground in a society to remain erect and yourself without arrogance and without ego instead just out of your silence awareness and inner explosion inner explosion of bliss is not only a tremendous experience but an experiment of wonders an experiment of wonders i have lived life the way i want it it was difficult but it was immensely rewarding it gave me the feeling that all those society may be powerful if you have guts no power can enslave you this is not arrogance this is not egoism this is asserting yourself they can kill you and even destroy you but they cannot enslave you and to be destroyed is not dignified to be killed is not against your individuality or against your dignity or against your pride the society can crucify a jesus or kill an alhelaj mansur or a socrates or a bhagat singh but certainly not be at peace in fact their sacrifices will make you more and more authentically yourself if you draw your inspiration from jesus you can be a spiritual red rebellious jesus is a spiritual rebellion deep down if you are a meditator and you have experience bliss within you know your body can be taken away and anyways the body will be taken away one by one but your being certainly your being cannot be touched your immortality is sure your immortality is unquestioned therefore i am adding to rebelliousness a new phenomenon 
a new dimension. There have been meditators, but they escaped from the society and there have been rebellious people who were destroyed by the society. I am bringing the two qualities together that the world has not known before. Be rebellious and meditated. This is the meeting or the merger of meditativeness and rebelliousness. The meeting of rebelliousness and religiousness. To me, rebelliousness and religiousness are two sides of the same coin. And together these create a Jesus, a Buddha, an Alhilaj, a Vivekananda, an Osho, and a Socrates. These are your contemporaries if you are spiritually rebellious. You are living your life not as a rebellion, you are part of the society, you have a right to assert your means, not imposing on others. There is no need to be afraid, gather courage from these there is nothing that can be destroyed in you and that which cannot be destroyed and that which can be destroyed in you will be destroyed whether you are in Himalayas or hiding in the monasteries certainly the body is going to be destroyed anyways but the mind lives on Therefore, there is no need on the part of the body or the mind to be ready to be enslaved. This happens because you are not aware of anything other than the body-mind structure. My effort is to make you aware of your immortality. Once you are aware of the immortality within you, then you will be the symphony of rebelliousness and meditativeness. You will be the melody where rebelliousness and meditativeness play their tunes in harmony. Once you have tasted the very source of your life eternal, then nothing can make you do things which are not in tune with your own being. Once you have tasted the very source of your life eternal, then nothing can make you do things which are not in tune with your own being. You will say yes only when you feel that this yes is not the yes of a slave, instead that of a man of freedom. You will say yes. Only when you feel that this yes is not the yes of a slave, 
instead that of a man of freedom you will say no if you see that saying yes will be only fake falling into slavery certainly then you will accept no but this is possible only if you become aware of your being in the past rebels were only intellectually rebellious they speak of rebellion they are intellectuals instead i teach you to be spiritual rebellious and that makes a tremendous difference the intellectual rebellion is superfluous and can be purchased but the spiritual rebellion is not a commodity available in the market place you have transcended the world you have transcended all that is finite the spiritual rebellion is not a commodity available in the market you have transcended the world this is the rebellion of jesus and of anilaj mansur and the rebellion of buddha be in the world but never let the world be within you the world its dualities its conflicts its miseries never let this these be part of you there is no need to escape the world instead of escaping transcend the world be beyond duality be beyond conflict be beyond misery there is no need to escape the world instead of escaping transcend the world living in the world go through all the fire because you know nothing can destroy you this this certainly can create a gathering of rebel without an establishment this certainly can create a gathering of rebels without an establishment and if any functional kind of mechanism is needed that is not a problem where there are so many people something functional will be needed and you remember that it is functional it does not give you a status for example prime ministership or presidentship of a country is nothing more than a functional entity indeed they have a utility your being a boss is a functional utility but they do not have any status as far as innerness and spirituality is concerned real status comes only from your realization of your innerness not not by sitting on a golden throne of prime ministership or presidentship or an officer in the office if people bow to you remember they are bowing to the throne not to you
the moment the throne is taken away from you nobody bows to you and all the way you had been thinking that people were bowing to you respecting you they were respecting you because you were on the throne tomorrow somebody else will be there yesterday there was somebody else and people were bowing when people bow down to you because of your innerness then that is a different thing when people bow down to you because of your innerness because you of your inner explosion of bliss inner explosion of joy inner explosion of benediction it is a different i call this is spiritual rebellious in the indeed it is benediction it is blessing it is explosion of your innerness your joy cherish it each finite moment as it unravels as it unravels itself as it unravels itself along the life's roots truth and shines truth alone shines let this be your city truth not facts i am speaking of truth that is eternal truth that is uncreated truth that was in the beginning truth that is now and truth that will be at the end asserts itself and there can be no better song or melody than when truth asserts itself when truth manifests through you when truth manifests through you life words gestures it is contagious it creates ripples it creates ripples in the minds of the listeners truth alone tribes this is the spiritual rebellion this is meditative rebellious this is rebellious meditative be it live it and cherish it only 
this much for this morning on this